Okay, right here is a 2021 CAT 6020B. The 6020B was announced by Caterpillar in April 2013 as a replacement for the older O&K designed 6018 model. When designing the 6020B, Caterpillar engineers worked to develop a machine that offered 10% higher productivity, 25% better fuel efficiency, and up to 40% better visibility than any other competitive class machine, while not compromising one bit on safety. After two and a half years of undergoing extensive field testing with four prototypes and bringing into consideration hundreds of operator comments and opinions, the 6020B was finally made commercially available in late 2015. Now, let's go and take a closer look at this big cat. Currently available from Caterpillar only in backhoe configuration, the 6020B is designed to swing a rock bucket ranging anywhere from 11.8 to 15.7 cubic yard, which is the standard bucket size of choice for this machine. And an optional 17.9 cubic yard bucket is also offered for this machine for coal loading purposes. The hoe attachment on this machine is classic O&K design with inline cylinder pin connections. And to better enhance visibility and safety at night, this machine comes standard with nine LED lights with two optional LED lights also available for on the boom. Thirty-one inch crawler shoes are standard for this machine. However, Caterpillar also offers optional thirty-nine inch crawler shoes for working on softer ground surfaces. The 6020B features the largest undercarriage in its size class, equipped with an auto track tensioning system and incorporates the use of a skid plate instead of a third roller support in the center of the undercarriage to help prevent the buildup of material and jamming of the rollers. And an optional rough terrain protection kit is also offered to further protect the undercarriage from harsh ground conditions. And this machine has two travel speeds, 0.68 miles per hour in low speed and 1.49 miles per hour in high travel speed. And to help give you an idea of the size of a 6020B, this excavator measures 21 feet 1 inch tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 26 feet 1 inch wide. Primary access onto the 6020B is provided by a hydraulically operated 45 degree access stairway, which you can see right here. Now let's go up on the 6020. Okay. The 6020B features a modular design allowing for quick breakdown and reassembly of the machine. On the back of this machine is the power module, which houses the engine, hydraulic pumps, and the cooling system. And should there be any failure with any major component, this entire power module is exchangeable and can be replaced with the spare unit to decrease machine downtime. Now let's go and check it out.
Here you can see the two axial piston swing motors, which connect to two compact planetary transmissions to power the machine's open loop swing circuit, which works with the machine's dedicated pump flow allocation technology to make full use of hydraulic flow and reduces heat generation by utilizing a common set of pumps which serve all functions. And directly ahead of the swing motors, you can see the center joint. The main hydraulic valve block is mounted on the back of the boom on this machine to provide less clutter on the main frame and better access to the swing motor and center joint below. Mounted on the right side of this machine is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here, which holds 740 gallons of oil. Inside of this compartment, here you can see the grease barrel for the central lubrication system, which holds 54 gallons of grease. Through this door is the pump room. The 6020's engine drives six variable displacement swashplate hydraulic pumps, which are paired in three compound sets, developing a maximum output of 621 GPM to power the front attachment and travel functions and 216 GPM to power the swing circuit. This machine is equipped with Caterpillar's new dedicated pump flow allocation technology, in which all pumps are dedicated to individual circuits on demand, allowing for all produced oil flow to be translated into motion. This system not only optimizes hydraulic efficiency and reduces energy losses, but also results in a 20% fuel efficiency advantage. Additionally, the pumps will move oil to the coolers as needed, unlike competitive class machines, which only cool hydraulic oil when the engine is under load. And the benefit to this design is virtually no excess oil flow or high pressure oil while yielding lower hydraulic temperatures and reduced cooling. Additionally, the engine also drives six smaller pumps for the air conditioning, pilot, PTO, oil cooling control, engine fan, and the hydraulic fan. And a separate kidney loop circuit supports the hydraulic system by providing continuous filtration and optimum oil cleanliness at all times. And this machine also features an electronic load limiting governor with pressure cutoff control. The cooling system on this machine is completely independent of return oil and also isn't governed by engine speed or load to maintain optimum operating viscosity and temperature at all times. As you can see, wide walkways surround the upper structure of this machine to enhance ease of serviceability. Now through here is the engine. Let's go check it out. The 6020B is powered by a Caterpillar C32 turbocharged and air-to-air after-cooled 32-liter V12 diesel engine with ACERT technology, which lowers temperatures at the combustion point in the engine and regulates the injector timing based on engine speed and load for optimum performance. Two variations of this engine are available to meet either Tier 2 or Tier 4 emission regulations. The Tier 2 configuration develops 1,032 horsepower at 1,800 RPM, 
while the Tier 4 configuration develops 1,019 horsepower at 1,800 RPM for this machine. This particular unit is equipped with the Tier 4 C32, which utilizes the Cat Knox reduction system, which captures and cools small quantities of gas and then routes it into the combustion chamber, where it drives down temperatures and reduces emissions. Additionally, this engine also features dual diesel catalysts, which condition exhaust gases, and the CAT MEUIC fuel system, which delivers increased fuel efficiency while further reducing emissions. And here you can see the engine radiator, which is hydraulically driven with electronically controlled fan speed. These two big switches you see here are the battery disconnect and the starter isolator disconnect switches. This is the battery main switch cabinet and you can see other switches for the emergency shutoff, the reset, the battery main disconnect and the boarding stairway switches which when pressed once will fully raise and lower the stairway. This compartment you see here below the cab is the electronic room. Let's go take a look inside. On the wall is the electrical cabinet. And here you can see all of the electronics that work this machine. This machine's computer and monitoring platform provides a streamlined system that requires only two controllers for all functions, which are the drivetrain and the servo, resulting in a reduced control system that ensures engine and hydraulic pumps work at optimum output during digging cycles to improve fuel efficiency. Mounted directly behind the operator's cab is the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here, which holds 951 gallons of fuel, allowing for 24-hour operational capability. Now, let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. The 6020B features an all-new state-of-the-art operator's cab with class-leading visibility. This is a multi-adjustable seat which features a built-in safety switch which will automatically neutralize all controls when the operator leaves the seat. The seat can also be adjusted to fit the operator's weight and position. Let's take a look at what the controls do. Okay, directly out in front of the operator's seat on the floor, the two foot pedals that you see here control the travel functions on this excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. And off to the left and right sides of the travel foot pedals, you can see two foot rests. And if you look below the foot pedals, you can see the mezzanine graded floor window, which provides the operator with a clear view of the crawlers and the pit floor. The two electric joysticks that you see off to the left and right sides of the operator's seat control all the digging functions of the backhoe attachment out in front. Off to the left side, here you can see the 10-inch LCD display screens, which incorporate the former O&K board control system, 
which uses sensors throughout the machine to monitor operating data, record faults, and to notify the operator in case of an emergency. The 6020B is also available with Caterpillar's MindStar system, which allows the operator to manage terrain, track materials, perform real-time fleet management, monitor the machine's health systems, and more. Off to the left side control console, here you can see other switches and controls to work other various functions on this excavator. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 6020B. The 6020B was also the first excavator in its class to feature two trainer seats. One of which you can see is located directly behind the operator seat, and the other is a fold-down seat located right here. The cab on this machine also features dual emergency stop switches. One of which you can see is located right here by the trainer seat, and the other is located right here by the operator station. And this beautiful cab was designed exclusively for Caterpillar's mining class of hydraulic excavators and was first introduced on the 6020B. Underneath this grate you see here is a hydraulically operated emergency access ladder which will fold out to 45 degrees when lowered. And from here you can get a good overview of the top deck on a 6020. Okay, each crawler on this machine is driven by a pair of axial piston motors which gear to a single planetary transmission and this is what will propel each individual track. And take notice that both the motors and the hydraulic lines that run to power the motors are encased inside of these metal guards and this is to protect the motors and the hydraulic lines from any rocks, dirt or falling debris when the excavator is in operation. This big excavator features a centralized service fluid filling station, which you can see right under here, with couplings for the engine oil, gear case oil, and hydraulic oil. And on the opposite side of the superstructure are quick couplings to fill diesel fuel and engine coolant. And the full indicator light you see to the right here is for the hydraulic oil tank. When this machine was first developed, its initial weight was 242 and a half tons. And by the time the 6020B hit the market, the overall operating weight for this machine had grown to 253 and three quarter tons. But there she is, a 2021 CAT 6020B.